Well, hello. Um, I am back, and this is, I guess, four days post-surgery. all depends on if you want to count Monday, which was the day of my surgery, like a day. Today's Friday, so I don't count the day of, so I count Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So this is four days post-surgery. Um, I just got back from seeing my um, plastic surgeon, and he changed my Steri strips, um, which are these little strips that sort of protect the incision areas. Um, was a little bit ouchy, I think, only because I think he doubled up on the Steri strips, so they were definitely adhered to the skin. So it was a little smarts, but like nothing major at all. Um, he said that everything looks good. I did get to see a little bit of um, the scarring. It's very red right now, so I'm not trying to get flipped out by that. Um, he did put new Steri strips on. Uh, I am still swollen. Um, not terribly swollen, but nonetheless, I still am swollen. Um, I want to just kind of show you a little side view of the boobies. And, and there's still some, um, like, gauze and stuff on the inside because the, there was some bleeding or whatever from when he... But there's a little side view of them. There, you can see some of the gauze and there's a little bit of blood stains or whatever. There's a little side view. So they're not hanging down anymore. They're very firm. They're still, as you can see, there's, there's still some swelling, you know, in, in this area or whatever. But I think um, when all is said and done, I'm going to be a, a full C. He said that um, they look uh, pretty good right now. He said that, like I said, there is some swelling and that um, they'll go down a little bit. But for the most part, they should stay about the same size, which is great because that's exactly what I wanted was a full C. Um, plus, I felt like if I lost any weight... Um, which I will get to about weight and nutrition and all that. Um, but I felt like if I lost a little bit of weight, which I plan on doing, not now, you don't want to do it right now uh, because you're healing, so you want to make sure that you get as much nutrition as you can at this point. But eventually when I want to lose whatever five pounds, then if it does shrink a little bit, then they won't be too small. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, I do want to talk about asymmetry in the breast because um, I have I noticed and so did my sister and my boyfriend that it appears right now that my left breast is slightly still a little bit larger than the right breast um, not crazy not like it was because before it was to me I mean crazy noticeable how um, how much of a bigger the left breast was than the than the right breast right breast but um the from the, this they're not fully symmetrical right now and from what i understand it's going to take a while for them to be pretty symmetrical okay um and one may still be slightly larger than the other. I don't know why. I don't know why that is, um, but it happens in a lot of um, cases where you get breast reductions or even implants and so on and so forth. Um, the one thing that they said to me was the, the, your breasts are sisters. They're not twins. So... Um, if they are to the point where they, where I feel, I mean, and you're talking about months down the road because you can't tell anything in four days. I'm still, like I said, very, very swollen. So, but if, you know, in 10 months from now, if I look and I say, wow, you know, they really are, um, uneven to the point where I can, where they're noticeably uneven or one is noticeably larger, then you can always opt for a uh, revision. And I think the, the revisions are pretty simple uh, to correct. 
but hopefully that won't happen. I'm trying to keep positive um, because my left one is more swollen right now than my right one because they had to do a lot more work on the left one than they did on the right one. I believe from what I can remember being told, I believe they took 280 grams from the left and I may have said this on one of my other videos. If I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. Um, but I think believe they took like 280 grams from the left and 180 grams from the right. What does that tally up to be? I have no idea. Um, but I know that I went from a double D, uh, a full double D, and almost a triple D on my left, to a full C. So there you go. Um, nutrition is really, really important when you're healing. And um, so protein is extremely important for you to eat. And like my doctor said to me, he goes, you know, no dieting. He said, you need your nutrition and your calories to, because a lot of them will burn um, just to heal. So a lot of the calories will go towards healing. So eat lots of fruits and vegetables and proteins and um, try to stay away from too much salt that's my biggest problem is the salt. The sweet stuff I can pretty much do without, um, but the salty stuff is really, really tough for me. Um, so that, so it, just keep up with your nutrition because that's really, really important. Um, and I've actually lost like two pounds since surgery. I don't know how, but I have because I've been eating three meals a day I've been eating, but I've been eating really, really healthy. I've been, you know, not getting, uh, on junk food or anything like that. I've just really been eating pretty healthy. Uh, so I see my plastic surgeon again next week. And I believe at that time, if he does not continue to change the Steri strips, cause he put new ones on today. Um, if he doesn't put new ones on next week, then I presume that, of course, you know what? That'll only be a week and a half. So I think what will probably happen is he'll continue to put Steri strips on, I think, for a couple of weeks. I think after maybe two weeks is when I will probably get to put um, this particular cream, and I, I wish I had the pamphlet for it, but it's a specific kind of uh, thing that they sell in the plastic surgeon's office to help with scarring. So, um, I will hopefully be able to put that on and, and try to do that, you know, to, to minimize as much scarring as possible. Um, I feel good. As a matter of fact, I feel so good that sometimes I feel like I didn't even have surgery, which is pretty unbelievable. Uh, I still tired, you know, from time to time. Um, my back feels amazing. My back and my neck. I mean, it's like I can act, I feel like I can actually like hold my shoulders back now. And I don't have that splitting pain in the center of my shoulder blades that I was having before just from all the weight and my shoulders were hunching forward and pull, you know, pulling me forward. I already feel a difference. And like I said, I'm still very full and swollen. Um, uh, I don't really have too much feeling in the nipple area right now. Hopefully that will change. Um, I do, I am hypersensitive on the sides of my breasts. Like they're definitely hypersensitive. So, um, I'm just going to keep positive and, and keep, uh, hoping that everything continues to go well. Um, I'm not going to overdo it. Um, a lot of the questions that I had, uh, for him about sleeping on my back, how much longer he wanted me to do that. And he said that he wants me to continue to sleep on my back for at least three weeks. So I probably will not opt to sleep in my bed because I know if I sleep in my regular bed, chances are I'm going to end up rolling over and that's not going to be a good thing. Um, so I'll probably just stay out here on my recliner, which my boyfriend will not be happy about, but um, for the next few weeks, because I just want to do everything the right way. Um, and as he said, you know, I, I, um, no lifting anything over five pounds, um, for the next few weeks. 
uh, really trying to limit my activity. He does not want me popping any stitches. Um, I can take short walks. And he said that if I wanted to drive a short distance, that I would be okay to do that in the next like day or two. Um, my hair, like literally, I haven't washed it since Sunday, so it's disgusting. I did take a um, like a sponge bath kind of thing. That was really hard. The hard part was wasn't the sponge bath necessarily because I let the shower head kind of hit hit me in the back. But it was when I when I was going to wash underneath my arms putting this arm to go underneath this arm and then shaving, that was a little challenging to say the least. Um, but he said that in two more days that I should be able to go ahead and um, shower kind of normally uh, as long as it wasn't like a hard, sh hard uh, pressure on my chest. And then he just said to, um, you know, pat everything dry you know, pat everything dry and, um, and that I could, um, um, and no, you know, no rubbing or, you know, anything like that. And, um, he said, as far as my hair goes though, he really doesn't want me, oh, what does he say? Let's see, what does he say about washing my hair? Yeah, washing and blow drying my own hair. He really doesn't want me to do it for at least another week and a half I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go up the street or whatever and have somebody blow dry my hair and or wash my hair, blow dry it. It'll probably cost what, $15, $20. It's worth it. And then I'll come home and just use a straightening iron on it if I need to because it's like humid as hell here these past few days. Um, but, and then that's it. As long as I do that once a week because I don't have to go back to work until September 3rd. I think that's it. Yeah, I think I don't have to go back to work until September 3rd. So that's about three and a half weeks. Well, from today, it's one, two, three weeks from today. So it'll be three and a half weeks since my surgery. September 3rd is when I go back to work. Um, so hopefully I'll feel better by then. God, I'm really hoping. Um, I mean, I feel great. Don't get me wrong. I feel wonderful. I feel like I could pretty much do anything with the exception of like lifting or putting my hands over my head and things like that. Um, I think that's it. So I just wanted to kind of show you what was going on that the fact that I do, you know, now have a waist for goodness sakes. Um, and I see him next week. So I'll keep you posted on if any, if anything else is going on in the next week, but other than that, I think I'm going to sign off for the next week until I go see him, and maybe I'll um, I'll be able to post a little bit more to show you a little bit more of what my breasts look like in another week. Okay? Thank you. Bye.